an entire exhibit of high-tech art that you can touch, change, interact with, yet they're all longing for a life outside of museums. This is the second annual Interactive Multimedia Culture Expo developed by Studio IMC and the NYU School of Interactive Telecommunications. It's a hybrid trade show and art show uh, that is meant to expose the future of interactive new media in the arts, entertainment, and retail. Um, so many of the artworks in the show double as commercial products. Many of the works can be used in architecture, for example, in, in window displays and storefronts. Tunic's own work called Sign takes the future of computing straight out of the movie Minority Report. You use gesture around the orb to navigate the camera in different directions within the virtual space and also to key certain sounds. It has various uh, embedded IR sensors, IR means infrared, and so the idea is basically that you know it's shining infrared light off of the hands that are around it and it basically sends a number back to the computer. Now this one behind me is a piece of artwork called Freestyle. How this works, you actually send it a message from your cell phone, either a text message, a picture message, or a video message. Right now, I'm gonna take a video of myself, and then whatever you send to it, it actually incorporates into this whole music video type thing. Essentially, it's a music video that you create entirely from your cell phone. It can be used in multiple venues. I can see it um, on a really large screen, like Times Square, or in a store, um, at a party. It, it also can be used in your home for fun. Finally, Chit Chat is designed to be a high-tech commentary on how we engage in small talk. This one, thanks to exposure from the show, may actually end up in a well-known chain of coffee shops. There's two small embedded microphones in the beer cans, and they're wired, connected up to a software called Max. That's doing some sound processing, so the text reflects the amplitude of the voice, the pitch of the voice, using things such as italics and uh, bold. It'll be italic and, and bold if someone's really loud. It'll kind of t t indicate emphasis. Sounds exciting! Now would you please pass the sugar? Adam Malkin, New York 1.